Today, we will be making sugar cookies that match for you and your dog. Here are the dry ingredients that you will need. The first thing you will need is three cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and three quarter teaspoons of salt. Now you will cream together two sticks of salt, uh, well, softened butter, and a cup of sugar. This is the second half cup of sugar, and a quarter cup of cream cheese. Blend all of these together until fluffy. Do you have, once you have creamed it, Till it's light and fluffy like this, you will need to add one large egg and vanilla, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Go. Fine. Once you've creamed those two to those all together, add the flour mixture slowly. Once mixed, roll it into parts. Put it in put it on parchment paper and roll it with your rolling pin. Yeah. Make sure that the that the dough is one fourth of an inch thick before putting it in the refrigerator. While you are waiting for the dough to harden in the refrigerator or freezer, try to pick out some cute cookie cutters. Also, while waiting. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Make several batches of dough. This full amount of dough should make about 60 sugar cookies. So you can make half the amount or even less. And for the doll cookies, you can pretend that your dolls are kneading dough with the model magic clay that we will be using. just gotten out uh, one of the pieces of dough from earlier and it was in there for about 25 minutes in the refrigerator for 25 minutes. Now you can mold your cookies. We are going to make some with holes so we can add strawberry jam in the middle. Also, while you are molding or cutting them out, you can add some sprinkles on top. Look how cute and pretty these came out so far. You want to bake your cookie for 10 to 12 minutes average. Look at all these cookies. This smells so good. Too bad you can't smell anything through camera, but it smells so good, and this is what it looks like. Mm, I can't wait to show you what it looks like when it comes out. Now, these cookies are perfect for Valentine's Day, and I know it's after Valentine's Day, but it still is the month of February, so we're just making some heart cookies. We also have some dinosaurs and... Easter bunnies, that's way too early. We've got our holidays mixed up here. But yeah, and I'm gonna show you the lovely cookies. I have to tell everybody right now, this smells so good. Here's the first batch that came out. And you wanna cook them or bake them until they get like golden brown around the edges.